Accra, the capital of Ghana, is aglow with beauty, courtesy of various banking institutions and churches. Prominent roads and runabouts are adorned with dazzling Christmas light, transforming the cityscape. At City TV, we've contributed to the festive atmosphere in Tesano, amplifying the holiday spirit. In this report, Fred Duho captures the excitement building up to Christmas. It has become an annual occurrence where the city of Accra is totally lit when it is Christmas. And here are the Redemption Runabout, also known as the AU Park. The entire place has been lit by some private uh, institutions that consider it as their corporate social responsibility, ensuring that they beautify the city with arrays of lights. Now, let's go in here and see within the AU Park, how does the place look like? whether people are patronizing and coming to take pictures as usual. A mother uh, with her kids who are literally walking through the AU Park, taking beautiful pictures and to keep a memory of the season. Now, the entire place is well kept and the lights are so beautiful. Uh, some are also designed into various forms of art and it, they all tell a particular story. So, for instance, what you have here looks like a Christmas tree with a star or light on top. Don't forget, when Jesus Christ was birthed, uh, in actual fact, it was the stars that led the three wise men to discover where he was and that is the essence and beauty of Christmas especially for Christians. We're going to walk through the city and see which other places uh, have been lit by a, a number of organizations and institutions. A number of banks in town have also taken it upon themselves and invested money into beautifying their premises largely the outside or the exterior parts of their buildings are glittering in light and showing that sort of projection that indeed they understand the seasons and times. So take a look around, you see these banks that have equally given a facelift to their banks to complement the season. One of the very notable places within the city and very popular is the Aquaje runabout, which connects the major stretch from Circle all the way to the Osu Enclave, where you would have to see the police headquarters right in front of me. And behind me, you have the road leading to Nima and Circle. And at this runabout, the bank invested in making this particular facility very beautiful and this is one of the public spaces one can mention that has gotten its fair share of the beautification of the city during this unitide. That is the tunes of Christmas you hear from these lightings over here. It is almost 11 o'clock p.m. and a number of businesses have closed, workers are home resting. But this is the time for a certain category of businesses that want to cash in during this festive season. And a key one among them is those retailers selling the lighting and other rockets that you see here at Osu. For instance, this particular one we understand is going for uh, 400 Ghana cities and the sellers here are just not sleeping though they are not willing to speak to us on record they've given us the permission to go through what they are selling here and we see all manner of rockets right here that people will be purchasing to uh, I mean explode them into the air uh, in excitement as to mark the season we see a Christmas tree here how much is your Christmas tree 650 Ghana cities, according to the man who is selling it. This is 650 Ghana cities. So, life or business here at Osu has just started, even though it is almost midnight. The street looks so lively and there is so much life 
it is buzzing. You see vehicles moving in their numbers. You see people walking the streets, minding their own business. And that is the level of uh, enthusiasm you see people showing as far as the Christmas season is concerned. Going through town, we finally got into the Kotika International Airport area. And at the runabout, you see a beautifully, and this is also done by Zenith Bank. So it looks more like almost all the runabouts within the capital have been taken over by the various banking institutions in the country and they've invested so much in decorating these facilities. Now we see a gentleman and a lady who are taking pictures and videos in there. We see another family here who would probably want to speak to some of them to see why they are here at this time. Boss, good evening. Good evening. The time now is around 11.30. Yes. Uh, and what are you doing here? Um, we were passing, we came to the airport and then um, we thought to come and see this beautiful uh, arrangement here. It's quite refreshing. So the family were attracted. We talked to take pictures. And so, yes, that's why we're here. Oh, it, was it part of your um, Christmas activities to do for the season? Yes, we have a lot of outing to do. We are, we are in town and so it's one of the activities that we thought to do. Walking through town, how would you describe the... I mean, how beautiful the entire place has been lit by a number of banking institutions. Oh yes, it's beautiful. Accra is beautiful to this time, this year, and it's very admirable. And so it's commended that whoever is part of this, where whichever organization is arranging this, uh, it's very commendable and it's beautiful. When Christmas is over, public spaces in this country and its management, what do you make of them? Um, I think we lack, we lack maintenance culture. I mean, we have a maintenance culture, but we have a poor maintenance culture we have to enhance our our progressive maintenance and um, preventive maintenance and all of that if we can do that we have a beautiful country little girl how are you do you like what you're seeing here i i got a bless you got a bless seeing this is huh? uh but where are you from from new york to ghana oh <laughs> well, since when did you arrive in ghana yeah since, since when 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 did you arrive in ghana since Monday. How, how do you find Ghana? I went to the airport and went to Ghana. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't think I heard that one anyway, but <laughs> let's speak to the mother. Uh, I, I mean, coming out with the mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. walking with your little girl mm -hmm. through town, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about it? I feel great. I feel proud and I think it's, it's, a, it's a good, good, good initiative whoever you know however it is but i it's, it's beautiful to see something like this uh here is beautiful you know i know it's a lot that have gone in and we we hope and pray that we see more of this in other places it only comes up during christmas festivities mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think it should be a one-off thing or something that we should maintain even after christmas i think we can do it periodically um because the the, the Christmas is Christmas. Not everybody believes in Christmas, but the beauty of the country belongs to everybody. So once in a while, it will be appreciated. These are a number of beautifully made um, metals lit with lights. What really prompted you to come out? Hmm. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> we were bored at home, so like we felt like coming out to view like a cry is nice so you know you have to come out and take some pictures why not choose the club uh, or any other place other than coming it, to this place it's not a thing so this place taking pictures like you know aesthetics mm. so yeah we choose pictures over club that is another patron if i must put it that way who came to the runabout here at the kotuka international airport area and they are all taking pictures, having fun, and enjoying themselves, at least thanks to those institutions that invested in beautiful, uh, beautifying the city during this Christmas. My name is Fred Duo reporting for City News.